where would we be without the mighty GoPro? We may know it as that durable, waterproof, pocket-sized device that's the camera of choice for trips around the world, catching prime action at sports events. That's why these gadgets are so fun. They're small and light, rugged, and the image quality is remarkably good. And they're very easy to use, right? And that's how we get amazing videos like these. From awkward to awesome, mild to wild, weird to wonderful, you don't want to miss this. GoPro captures what no one was supposed to see. Graveyard Surprise It's not known where this graveyard is, but for good reason, it's gotten this person's attention in the video. But what he doesn't know as the GoPro camera pans in close to a crack in the side of the tomb, something is inside, and it wants out. It's safe to say that we likely wouldn't be sticking around if a hand suddenly popped out of a grave, we'd be running in the other direction. Then again, filming anything in a cemetery like this would require some bravery. But we're certain no one would expect to find someone buried alive. Those unusually long fingers are freaky too. Is this even a human trapped in this tomb? Being buried alive ranks pretty high on the list of terrible ways to die, and it's used to happen a lot, and it used to happen a lot more than it does now. In fact, in the early days of medicine, it was much more difficult to determine if someone was actually dead or just in a coma, emaciated or paralyzed. Starting around the 18th century, suspected corpses were subjected to abusive tests to establish death. It ranged from the fairly benign pinching all the way up to getting burned with hot pokers. But whatever is in this grave is not dead. Could it possibly be undead? Like something out of our favorite zombie movie or television show? We hope not. <laughs> Terrifying one hand crane pull up. Whether you're a daredevil or not, this video is enough to freak out anybody. Extreme Heights Warning This dude climbed a crane and just dangled with one arm at an epic, nausea inducing height. They are the rooftoppers, people risking their lives climbing cranes in various locations. But that's not all, they also climb bridges and skyscrapers to film stomach churning videos that almost always go viral. So why do they do something which is not only insanely dangerous but also illegal? Crane climbing is a worldwide phenomenon that's said to be growing in popularity since the mid 2010s alongside the illicit climbing of skyscrapers, monuments, whatever is the most tricky and the least likely to result in an arrest. These daredevils compete with each other and themselves to push climbs to more dangerous extremes. Officials view crane climbers around the globe as thrill seekers influenced by the popularity of crane climbing videos online and warn that in addition to putting themselves at risk, these rooftoppers put the lives of first responders at risk as well. Fair enough, crane climbers are routinely arrested and charged. As you can see, the risks are huge. Rabbit Hole Waterfall Diving Jamaica is known worldwide for Reach Falls in Portland Parish on the east side of the island. It's a waterfall system with tunnels and rock cavities for you to explore. The many cascades, smaller waterfalls, and underwater caves make this a natural wonder. But its best kept secret is a waterfall 33 feet down a rock face into an emerald pool that empties into an underground cave called the Rabbit Hole. If you're a nature lover and thrill seeker, this is the place to be. In fact, the rabbit hole has recently caused a stir online with many divers filming their jump into the hole. They're dipping and diving through a watery labyrinth. Nestled in the montane forest on the foothills of the John Crow Mountains, Reach Falls was first discovered by runaway slaves who sought the area for refuge. It's since been the backdrop for films like Tom Cruise's Cocktails and the remake of the classic Lord of the Flies. That rabbit hole name is for good reason. If you dare to jump in, it'll feel like you're falling through a portal into another world just like in Alice in Wonderland. Bring your own swimwear, water shoes, towels, and snacks as the area is off the beaten path. Don't forget your camera either. Try to go, if you can, on a closed day with a tour guide because that way you'll have the place pretty much to yourself. Girl floating in the woods. This so-called paranormal activity was caught on camera by an unexpecting dog walker. While pointing the camera at his dog, Tarzan, we tag along with them as they record something very unusual. The pup even seems a little nervous and won't respond to the owner's calls. And this happens. Do you think it could be real? Look at this footage apparently showing a little girl levitating in the snow-covered forest in Russia. 
the man who filmed the footage chases his beloved Tarzan, and he stumbles upon a clearing where this girl, dressed in a red coat, appears to be flying above a man's head. And who's the other person? As the man zooms in to capture the action, his dog starts barking. After a closer look, you can even see the floating child's breath moving through the freezing air. The passerby is so horrified by the girl's behavior that he even appears to drop his phone. In the blurry video, the small child floats, then suddenly is back on the ground and quickly flees the scene. Paranormal levitation is the rising over the human body into the air by uncertain means. Some folks think the process is caused by a supernatural energy, which lifts the person unwillingly into the sky like something out of a horror flick. Kansas Cop Rescues Kid This cop is being praised after rescuing a four-year-old boy with autism from a local pond in Topeka, Kansas. The hero cop was in the right place at the right time to save a life, and we can actually see it on the video. Officer Aaron Bomer was responding to another call just before noon when he saw this little boy walking towards a pond near the local community center so he continued driving to get a better view. Something told him to get a closer look, and his instinct took over, and he felt it best to double-check on this kid's well-being by getting a closer look. But this kid was not okay. Footage of the incident captured by the officer's body cam showed the officer approaching the pond as the little boy, named Elijah, appeared to struggle in the water. He jumped into the pond and scooped up the poor child into his arms, disaster averted. Nearby, the child's father was looking for Elijah, and thankfully, the good cop saved the day. The two were reunited as the boy was being treated in an ambulance. The child's mother, in a news conference, said that Elijah is doing great since the frightening incident. Job well done, officer. This body cam footage is so up close and personal. Biker finds lost tribesmen. This tribesman was seen running down a dirt track in Indonesia by a group of bikers on the northern tip of the island of Sumatra. It's so shocking, the footage even shows one of the bikers falling on the ground as the small person runs away. One of the bikers continues down the track in hot pursuit, and the little person jumps into the bushes by the side of the road. And because the grass is so high that they can no longer see, a couple of the riders venture into the bushes to try and see where this so-called tribesman went. Some viewers think that the unusual being is a member of a lost Manti tribe who are said to be smaller than the average man, completely detached from the outside world, but most people think that the Manti people are simply legends. Maybe this little being is not from our Earth as we know it. Perhaps this is an extraterrestrial. Archaeologists have found evidence of an ancient race of small, hobbit-like humans on the island, believed to have been around three and a half feet tall and lived around 50,000 years ago. Could this be a member of that lost tribe of hobbits? Well, some scientists believe the species were completely separate from the modern human. Maybe this tribesman is one of the few remaining people of this remote culture. Is it even human? Hard to say. The teleporting dog. Is our mind playing tricks with us? Is this a time-traveling dog caught on camera? This fascinating footage shows the mysterious pooch appear as if out of thin air, during an illegal drag race taking place on this empty motorway in Chile. Or perhaps it's a ghost pup that haunts the highway. Of course, the video in which a dog suddenly materializes out of nowhere and was almost killed has gone viral. In the short clip, two drivers race along, but as they zip past the cameraman at top speeds, a dog is suddenly on the road. Poof! A pooch in the middle of the raceway. But where did it come from? If it was in the middle of the road to begin with, it's incredible that both cars managed to avoid it. That dog is dancing with death. Shot by one of the spectators, the two cars traveling at high speed down the motorway with the camera panning around as the cars vanish into the distance, obviously oblivious to the danger. But incredibly, although it seems impossible for the cars to miss the animal, the dog suddenly seems to appear from nowhere and bounce happily over to the side of the road with its tail wagging, completely undisturbed by the fact that it appears to have had such a narrow escape. <laughs> the truth behind Middlebury, Connecticut. If you were to stumble upon this in a Connecticut forest, you'd be well within your wits to be spooked. An abandoned collection of derelict doll-sized houses in the middle of the forest should be an unsettling sight for anyone. There's a story here. In fact, there are two major legends about the history of this little people's village. The first 
Full disclosure involves fairies and centers around a man and his distraught wife. They lived in the human-sized home in the forest when the woman began spotting what she saw as fairy folk. The couple added bars to the windows of their homes to keep the little people out and she ordered her husband to build the tiny village to keep them happy. It didn't work. The second legend has a man living alone in the forest compelled to build the village after hearing the disembodied voices of little people everywhere. Again, his efforts were not enough to convince the fairy folk to let him be. The truth is, in the early 1900s, the stone structures were built as an attraction called the Fairy Village along the Lake Quasi Amusement Park trolley line. When the trolley stopped running and the attractions could no longer be reached, the park simply allowed the structures to fall into disrepair and be reclaimed by the forest. Long Island Missing Posters this man has stumbled upon what looks to be some kind of shrine to missing people while hiking in a forest in Long Island. This could be a hike from hell arriving at this. James Rankin posted a video of his weird discovery following his expedition to Woodland located near a residential area of Berkeley Jackson County Park in New York State. As he walked through the woods, he noticed that around 25 missing persons posters sheltered by see-through plastic envelopes were pinned up on various trees in the area. Looking into the missing persons posters further, James discovered that they matched those of real missing persons cases, which freaked him out even more. So he contacted local police. It's been claimed that the posters were there as decorations for a Halloween party, but to James, they looked weathered as if they'd been there for some time. While some more cynical onlookers claim James's mystery is a hoax, there are claims it's got police confirmation. This case is being investigated. There was a campsite nearby with a bonfire pit, so it's possible that it's just an elaborate and very creepy stunt to get the locals whipped up. <laughs> Giant Monster Wolf This footage was filmed near a fishing lodge in deepest Canada where monsters in the forest are common. In the clip you can hear a dog barking loudly at the animal, thought to be a bear. But the strange creature isn't a grizzly, it's likely a timber wolf, and it's huge. The person who filmed the video wrote online, I work as a fishing guide in northern Saskatchewan and I shot the video on one of our trails around the lodge. They spotted the wolf through the window of the kitchen in the lodge and they made their way outside with the camera. The lodge manager went for a shotgun too, just to be safe. When the photographer started to take pictures, the wolf left, then returned a few minutes later and that's when the dog, Trigger, took after the wolf. That's when the huge black wolf grabbed the dog in the back and threw him up in the air right in front of the stunned lodgers. They fired the shotgun into the air and that broke the fight up. The wolf turned and left. In North America, timber wolves are believed to have acquired their color from wolf dog hybridization, which occurred thousands of years ago. We doubt that it's going to bring more customers to the fishing lodge, but you never know. A sighting like this is a once in a lifetime event. <laughs> Tianjin Blast Site Back in the summer of 2015, two explosions occurred within seconds of each other at this facility in the northern port city of Tianjin, China. It didn't stop there. The second explosion involved the detonation of about 800 tons of ammonium nitrate, the equivalent of over 250 tons of dynamite. Next, this started a chain reaction of uncontrollable fires and eight more explosions over the course of three days. And as you can see, total devastation and this footage clearly demonstrates the epic size and power of this massive blast. It really is devastation on a whole other level. Twisted metal, buildings destroyed, clouds of smoke still rising, we can all visualize what the blast looked like. The blast was so big it could be seen from space. Windows were blasted out a mile away, and with 15 million people in the port city, everybody was affected. The warehouse building that exploded was a hazardous chemical storage facility for calcium carbide, sodium nitrate, and potassium nitrate. Safety regulations were not followed, and the people in the city were unaware of the danger. The Tianjin blast must have been one hell of a fight for those rescue workers and first responders. It's an endless sea of burnt cars, empty shells of formerly thriving businesses, and it's surreal, dramatic, and no doubt, very scary. <laughs> The Fallen Angel In 2006, two gentlemen were camping with their families when they came upon something unbelievable. Needless to say, what they captured has never been fully explained, but it's become famous around the world as the Catalonia Fallen Angel, 
a strange humanoid that was snapped on film in a forest near Catalonia, Spain. The creature is evidently humanoid, nearly skeletal, while the body is almost exactly identical to a human and appears to possess glowing eyes. Its most defining features, however, are the growths emerging from its back that resemble featherless wings like those of a bird or an angel. There are several explanations as to what this creature could be. Theories include an undiscovered species called a cryptid or a reclusive hermit. And of course, there's the concept that this is a much darker demonic presence like a chupacabra that's a legendary creature in the folklore of parts of the Americas. The name comes from the animal's reported vampirism. The chupacabra is said to attack and drink the blood of livestock. While chasing the creature, the two men in the video encounter large white feathers as if from the wings of a large bird. Although exactly what it was remains unclear, the creature is certainly an unsettling sight. Screams in the Swamp Residents of the Umatella Reservation in Oregon have had their night sleep repeatedly interrupted by eerie screeches and terrifying shrieks. However, the community is split at the possible source of the mysterious noises. The mysterious noises have been happening at night from a marshy, brush-covered spot. Some believe that foxes or coyotes may be responsible for these nighttime serenades, but others are certain that a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot is to blame. Could it be true? The wetland, which has become the performance space of choice for the creature responsible for the shrieks, is located near the old reservation community center. The isolated reservation, which about 1,500 people call home, covers 178,000 acres and extends into Oregon's Blue Mountains, a notorious hotbed of Bigfoot sightings. And since the spooky sounds were first reported, the Tribal Housing Authority has fielded a half dozen calls from concerned residents so far. Residents say that the sounds are high-pitched screams. The night sounds have caused so much concern among residents that nobody goes out into the wetland after dark. Maybe put on your headphones if you're forced to wander about this reservation. Ohio Bigfoot Was the real Bigfoot aware that people were nearby? Maybe its highly heightened senses could smell humans from miles away and it stuck around to see what was up. Or was it even a Bigfoot? The whole concept of Bigfoot stems from European folklore, but tales of a huge, wild man-like figure have been talked about across many cultures, and sightings like this drone footage may be evidence that Bigfoot is indeed a real thing, the missing link between humans and their ancestors perhaps, or perhaps just a big person in a furry costume. Bigfoot has also been seen as an enduring hoax as well, and this video footage has received the same criticism online after it was posted. And some people have even accused the state park for planting said Bigfoot since they don't normally grant permission to fly drones. This just ruins the fun. Yet, when they gave these guys permission, look what turned up. Hmm. The drone flyers were in Salt Fork State Park in Ohio, giving their unmanned aircraft a spin when they flew past what appears to be a Bigfoot or Sasquatch to be specific. When you take your drone out for a spin, you're probably not expecting to see this and we're imagining that Bigfoot was not expecting a drone to pass overhead. Remember this next time you're flying your drone. <laughs>